One of the simplest ways you can do pulling exercises in your house if you have a laminate floor is by using a towel, just placing it down on the floor, opening it up, then laying on the towel face down like that. From there, all you have to do is put your hands in front, push down into the ground, and you're gonna pull yourself forward across the floor, right? From here again, here, and then pull myself across the floor. And you can do that all the way across the floor. You can start from farther back here, lay down flat, reach forward, pull yourself forward, reach forward, pull yourself forward across the floor. You can get a similar result by taking a plank of wood and putting them on furniture sliders if you're using carpet. All right, so all I'm doing is taking a strap I have from my gymnastics rings. I'm gonna throw it around the bottom of this bed post and then I'm going to feed it through the end of the strap. There you go, and then it's strapped around the bottom. And you can perform rope pulls by laying on your back on top of the magic slider board, or the furniture slider board. So I can be there, have this overhead, and I can perform pulling motions like that across the floor on the ground. You can also do this on the laminate floor like I showed earlier, but this is another approach to it. If you want to be more upright, you can sit down on the board this way, feet on top of it, hands in front of you here with the strap in front of you, and then you can work on the pulling motion in this fashion across the floor. The thing about this method is that kids really love it because it's kind of fun and interesting and weird. So I've actually found that when I used to teach this to the kids at a gymnastics facility, they really enjoyed this a lot more than some of the other pulling exercises that I did. So just keep that in mind. Another easy way for pulling strength is to use your door as a pull-up bar. But you gotta secure the side of it, otherwise it'll possibly break it off the hinges. Now be smart about this. If you don't have a door that, that you don't trust, then don't do this. I don't wanna get any emails or responses about I broke your doors, okay? I'm warning you here, this is an alternative method. If you have other methods, I highly recommend using those methods. Take a book, put it underneath the edge right here so to secure the side of it. We're gonna use the power of habit today. So in that way, that pulling down motion doesn't affect the door hinge. From there, you have a pretty secure position to reach your hands over the top and hang from the door. You can just work on scapular pull-up strength by just pulling to the shoulder blades. You can pull all the way to the top, sliding on your legs that way. Obviously, you don't wanna jump and grab the top of the door. So if you're not strong enough to pull yourself up yet, you can step onto a chair on the side here, a nice strong chair. Put your hands on the top and start in the top position here, and then lower yourself down from that position downward, right? So you can use the chair to your advantage, or you can keep one foot on the chair off to the side, which gets a little bit tricky here, but you can use that chair as an assistant to help you pull up and down from that position. A tree branch is a great place if you don't have a pull-up bar to do pull-up strength or working on pull-up ability. You simply, all you have to do is hang on that tree branch. You can work on your scapular pulls here. You can do jumping pull-ups to the top and then lowering down slowly. You can use the tree trunk to walk up to help you get to the top into that pulling position to lower yourself down. It's really endless what you could do with the tree branch. Or you can take your gymnastics rings, throw them over the top and do them beneath the tree branch. There's lots of options for you in that regard. You can even use a simple wall to help you build your pull-ups. Just find a wall that you find to be sturdy, make sure to test it out first, place your hands over the top of it, and then use your feet on the wall to brace yourself and allow yourself to pull yourself up and down. If you need to, you can even use your feet to walk up the wall, or you can lay flat on the wall, kind of like you do with the door frame, and slide yourself up and down the wall. However, keep in mind, not all walls are slidey, and you might run into some scratchy surfaces if you slide on a wall.